Good morning. I saw this from the United States. So illegal immigrants coming into the United States who commit sex crimes in the country, the Democrats, lots and lots of these Democrats, they want to keep them in the country. Right? We don't send them back, we just keep them here. And uh, I remember, and I think this is true, that Sweden was the testing ground for this project. Because this is exactly what they did here in Sweden many, many years ago. And people know about it. They say, oh, look at what's happening in Sweden, right? Uh, rapists and stuff. I, young Swedish women are being raped and harassed. So they tried it in Sweden first. And it worked. It really messed things up, right, in Sweden. So now they know it works. Yeah, this is good. We just bring in lots of people and the, the sex offenders, we just keep them. <laughs> and now they are doing it in other places. Right? Now there are different reactions to what's going on. You see what's happening with the Convid hoax. Uh, I think there are three different reactions to it. Now, you see First of all, people who are totally clueless, they just don't know what's going on. They don't see it, and they just, they remain clueless, right? They're quite fascinating people, aren't they? And then there are those who get angry. You see, a lot, I see a lot of rage. People are so angry about what the, these globalist assholes are doing, and have been doing. And then there are those who laugh. That's right. I see it, you know. Or they just sort of move away from it all. And they say, okay, I'm fine, you know. Sort of airy type of reaction. They just don't look. They, they know what's going on, you know. But they just distance themselves from the whole thing. And they laugh at the globalist assholes, right? This is what I do, actually. It, I don't find it easy to, to laugh at what they are doing, of course, but I can laugh at them. All these stupid, perverted idiots. Evil. They are so evil. They are, they are like a character in a bad movie, right? And you can sort of laugh at them because they are, they are so insane, you know? So I, think, I feel that I can laugh at them, but I can't laugh at what they are doing. Oh, it's, it's uh, impossible for me. So I'm sort of stuck there, right? Now, I think people should focus on their lives, really. Of course you should attack them. Every chance you get, you just attack them, right? But that's not priority. I don't think it is. Because it will suck you down, you see. This anger, this rage will suck you down into a hole, and it's dark. So I think that's what needs to be done. And this is what I do, actually. I focus on creating a good life, where there is joy and harmony. <laughs> and then I just uh, attack them. No. But that's not my first priority, see? So, they will ruin themselves eventually because they are so stupid and desperate. There's just lots of money in there, isn't it? They have lots of money, don't they? And this keeps it going, right? But they, as individuals, are absolutely gone, you know, these globalist assholes. I focus on the political class, by the way. See, because the puppet masters, well, they are never there, are they? You don't see them much. <laughs> but the politicians, they are there, aren't they? The, the puppets, right? So that's what I focus on. I know I can't do anything about Rockefeller. I know this. Or Rothschild or any of these guys. It's 
nothing I can do. So I focus on the politicians and the bureaucrats. Right? Well, that's what I'm sort of looking at, you know. Right. Now about politicians, I thought, I thought this was quite funny. This is entertaining stuff from the United States. So Jill Biden, you know, the wife, Jill Biden, she replaced her husband in this cabinet meeting. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever saw something like this, right? But now it's just sort of natural, isn't it? MSNBC reported on it. I'll post a link to it. Yeah, this is natural. Oh, we have a cabinet meeting here. Lots of people sitting around a big table, right? And then comes Jill Biden you know, <laughs> to sit down and talk to them, right? Uh, it was supposed to be Joe, of course, but he couldn't make it, you know, for some reason. Have you seen anything like this before? I haven't seen it in any place, in any, you know, any profession. You, you know, you have a car mechanic and you come in as a customer and you want to talk to the car mechanic about your car, right? And then he brings his wife. <laughs> you know, uh, talk to my wife. Well, she's not a car mechanic, is she? No, she's not. You know, she's a dentist. You know. Talk to her. You don't see this, do you? But you see it now with Jill Biden. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. And I thought that clip from MSNBC was fantastic. How <laughs> this guy from MSNBC, you know, he was like, yeah, this is all fine. Jill Biden is coming in to talk, you know. Amazing. All right. Be good.